Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Batwoman Season 2. We've got some major breaking news to talk about today, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so massive breaking news hit last night. I didn't see it until this morning. So, yeah, Batwoman has been recast. We are going to be seeing Javicia Leslie as Batwoman. This comes at the point where everyone was like, okay, so we're going to get this recasting news, we're going to get this news of who's going to be the new Batwoman, obviously it's not going to be Kate Kane, it's going to be this Ryan Wilder character, and you know, we have DC Fandom coming up in August, we were kind of expecting them to wait until then to actually announce it, but we kind of knew at the moment that they were trying to cast like as quickly as possible, because they aim to film in September, so if they just cast in August and start in September, that's very rushed. So we kind of assumed, oh, they're probably looking for their Batwoman right now, and it seems they have found their perfect Batwoman in their eyes. So Javicia Leslie has been cast as the new lead in Batwoman for season two. I am actually not familiar with her work. I haven't seen God Friend in Me. That is apparently her biggest show that she's been on. And that was a Greg Belanti show, so that kind of makes sense because Greg and the people behind the CW, they actually do really like to cast as leads people they've worked with before or they know. And so it makes sense. And to be honest, I'm actually very excited for this because I don't know anything about her. I kind of knew about Ruby Rose before because I've seen a few films. I wasn't so impressed by her roles in her films. And then I saw Batwoman at Comic Con last year and I was surprised. I was like, holy shit, she's a great Batwoman. So I was very happy with Ruby and you know what? I think the thing is for season two for me, I'm gonna be watching season two. I'm a bit behind on season one. I'm gonna catch up and then start season two when it starts. You know, I think the thing for me is I'm really intrigued to see this new way that they go because this is unprecedented. You know, season one happened we had Ruby as Batwoman, and Ruby has left the show. Like, that has never happened. Imagine Supergirl or The Flash or Arrow with their main leads leaving the show after season one. It would be completely different. So I have no idea what kind of direction they're going to go down with season two, but I'm really intrigued. Exciting to see Javicia as the lead role. I'm very excited to see all of this. So we're going to read through this article from Deadline. So it goes like this, Godfriend and Me co-star Javicia Leslie has been cast as the new Batwoman, succeeding Ruby Rose who exited the role after the end of season 1. Leslie confirmed to play a new character named Ryan Wilder, will make her debut in the iconic cape and cow when Batwoman returns to CW for its second season in January. Batwoman producers did not look far to find their new lead, Leslie coming off a two season run as a series regular on the Blanty production slash WBTV drama for CBS, God Friend of Me. With Leslie's casting, Batwoman continues to break new ground. This is a quote from Leslie. I am extremely proud to be the first black actress to play the iconic role of Batwoman on television. And as a bisexual woman, I am honored to join this groundbreaking show, which has been such a trailblazer for the LGBTQ plus community, Leslie said. Batwoman premiered last fall as the first superhero television series in history to feature an avowed LGBTQ character as the central character. Following Rose's departure, the producers vowed to cast another LGBTQ actor for the role. As Deadline previously reported, Leslie will play a new character in the title role who will succeed Rose's Kate Kane. Leslie will portray Ryan Wilder, who is set to become the new Batwoman. She's likeable, messy, little goofy, and untamed. She's also nothing like Kate Kane, the woman who wore the bat suit before her. With no one in her life to keep her on track, Ryan spent years as a drug runner, dodging the GCPD and masking her pain with bad habits. Today, Ryan Wilder lives in her van with her plant, a girl who would steal milk for an alley cat and also could kill you with her bare hands. Ryan Wilder is, a dangerous, is the most dangerous type of fighter, highly skilled and wildly undisciplined, an out lesbian, athletic, raw, passionate, fallible, and very much so not your stereotypical all-American hero. Okay, so just to end this off with the final bit of the article, I want to read out the final few quotes. 
I'm inventing a whole new character who in her past was inspired by a Batwoman, so she will take on the mantle and is completely maybe not the right person at the time to be doing it, so that's what makes it fun. Caroline Dry said that, she's the showrunner of Batwoman and she's going to continue to be the showrunner for season 2, adding that the reboot of Batwoman as a different character allows the show to, and I quote, Respect everything that Ruby puts into the Kate Kane character and helps the audience a little bit that we are not asking them to not address the elephant in the room. One of the pivotal things about the casting that Caroline Dries and the people behind the show said that they wanted to cast an LGBTQ actor, you know, someone from the community, and so they've done that successfully, so, you know, well done to them. I think they have made a good choice, it seems like they are very confident with what Leslie is going to bring to the show and bring to Batwoman. I think I'm interested to see what Ryan Wilder brings to the show because, you know, this person apparently is very different from Kate and from what has happened to her in the past, but she was inspired by Batwoman. I thought that was interesting that they specifically mentioned that because, you know, this person has been watching Batwoman, has been watching Kate Kane, probably doesn't know Kate Kane, but was just sort of inspired, like this happens in the comics, where you see, say, like The Flash running around, and who did The Flash inspire? The Flash inspired a different version of himself, who actually turned out to be bad, that being the reverse Flash, but it's kind of similar, it's like someone who is admired, and basically becomes them, you know, whether it's for good or bad, this is obviously for good with Batwoman, for Ryan Wilder, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing Ryan, it's a bit interesting, obviously the plant thing, that she lives with a plant, kind of quirky. Kind of expecting her to be kind of fun and kind of have a sense of humour, it seems, from the description. And it seems like, you know, she's going to have a past, maybe we see some flashbacks. She's been trying to dodge the GCPD for a long time. She has all these bad habits, apparently, but she's also a very dangerous fighter. She's highly skilled and wildly undisciplined. So, you know, she's raw, passionate, and fallible. Basically, she is kind of similar to Kate in that regard, but maybe a bit more undisciplined than Kate, so we'll have to see that. And also, she is a lesbian, so she's going to presumably have some relationships on the show, which I am looking forward to. And so, just going down to the final few quotes I wanted to talk about, I'm inventing a whole new character of her own past, inspired by Batwoman. So she will take on the mantle of Batwoman and is maybe completely not the right person to be doing it, what Caroline has said, the showrunner. So yeah, kind of interesting to see that she will just take up the mantle. I wonder if like she makes a new suit, is her suit going to look different? I think that is something to keep in mind because that will be another change probably to the show because it's going to have to fit her rather than fit like what Ruby is like. So I'm guessing you're going to have new hair, maybe, you know, the wig, or maybe it's just going to be a natural hair, or maybe the mask completely covers the hair, or it's going to be like a new costume as well. I reckon we're going to get like a whole new look, like a whole new costume for her. I mean, it's probably going to be a bit similar to Ruby's costume, but I reckon it's going to be a slightly bit different, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. Maybe we get a little teaser of that DC fandom which I'm really looking forward to. So, yeah, she's not the right person maybe right now, but apparently that's what makes it fun. You're going to see that progression to, you know, she becomes the right person to be Batwoman and to help protect Gotham. And so, you know, basically, I think the reason behind it, all of this and what Caroline has been saying is she, they really want to cast a great person. They want to sort of reboot the show. However, they don't want to just forget about Kate and everything that's happened in the past so they want to respect it as she has quoted and saying in this article they want to respect all that Ruby put into the Kate Kane character and you know help the audience a little bit too and not address not like have to basically ignore the elephant in the room so that's why they didn't go ahead and recast even though it is recasting the Batwoman role when I say that in quotations because they're not playing the same character she's just going to take up the mantle of Batwoman so I guess it's a little bit of a recasting because it's Batwoman, but, you know, Ryan Wilder is different from Kate Kane. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Are you excited to see the new Batwoman? I'm really intrigued. I can't wait for this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.